Hey guys, so welcome back. So those of you guys that have been following the channel recently know we've been working with a lot of pallet wood and removing those nails is a real bear. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my review of the cheapest nail remover on Amazon. So this video is not sponsored or anything. I purchased this tool with my own money. So what we have here is a 3 plus nail remover. I paid $43.99 for this tool on Amazon. So the tool arrived at my house in ready to use condition. It's made out of cast aluminum construction and then it also has a rubber grip for comfort of use. The total weight of the tool is about four pounds. Um, according to Amazon, it's four and a quarter pounds. It also came with some uh, lubricating oil and two Allen wrenches and also some operating uh, instructions. The tool did not come with a uh, hard case. It also arrived with a quarter inch hose fitting that was already uh, assembled. So this tool is known to be a nail remover or punch. It's a little bit of a misnomer because the, the tool does not really remove the nails per se. It actually punches the nails out of the wood. And sometimes it can actually knock the nails all the way through the wood. So in order to uh, test out the tool and see if it's uh, worth its money, I, I basically built a gauntlet for the tool. I've got a whole bunch of nails here, put in a two by four. Also put a bunch of nails in a piece of oak as well. So I've got a real assortment of nails here to uh, play around with with the tool. I've got a bent three and a half inch nail. I've got some two inch nails, three inch nails, three and a half, three and a quarter, and even a six inch nail. It should be known that the uh, description on Amazon only recommends removing 10 to 20 gauge nails with the tool. The way the tool works is it connects directly to my uh, compressor and um, it uses the quarter inch fitting. And then once you pull the trigger, a rod comes out of this um, area here on the gun and it actually knocks the nail out. Hopefully you can see okay when I pull the trigger that small rod that comes out that hits the nail. The tool is really pretty loud so be sure you wear your ear protection and also your eye protection. You might even want to wear some gloves as well. So I'm going to start out with this two inch finish nail and basically what you do is you just put the tool over the nail and then pull the trigger and it should either knock the nail all the way through or at least knock it through far enough that you can grab it with your hammer. Hopefully you can see it does leave a small mark uh, in, the, uh, in the wood. This is actually a two by four. And you can see it drove the nail far, than, far enough out of the two by four that I can grab it with my hammer or my pry bar. So next I've got a two inch framing nail. So we'll go ahead and see if we can drive that out. And now we've got a three inch nail. And a three and a half inch nail. We've got a three and a quarter inch galvanized nail. And then here we've actually got a six inch, a six inch galvanized nail. I'm not sure if you could tell in the video, but it actually shot it out of the back side of the two by four. Now here we've actually got a three and a half inch bent nail. So the head of the nail is up against the back side of the two by four and I bent it over. So what we're gonna do is put the gun over the bent portion of the nail and bend it a little bit. And then we can start shooting it out of the wood. Let's turn the two by four over and take a look at how far it drove the nails out. There you can see where the six inch nail was and it drove it out. And then you can see the other nails are actually plenty far out that we can easily grab them with our hammer or pry bar. So the next test I have is some both one inch and one and a half and five eighths of an inch uh, brad and straight nails for my nail gun that's in a piece of uh, five eighths of an inch oak. It drove one of those all the way through and the other four are sticking well out. It did split the wood a little bit where the rod came out and hit the oak though. So now we have a slat of pallet wood and this is a piece of uh, pine. In most of my pallets, the nails are actually cut off with a sawzall and um, it's very difficult to get to those with your hammer or your pry bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive those out by hitting the cut portion of the nail. Then we can grab the actual head of the nails with our hammer. So for this, I'm just gonna take the tool and put it over the, uh, the cut portion of the nail and then we'll try to drive it out the back side. So 
So hopefully you can see okay, but it leaves about a quarter inch divot in the wood. And it's probably about an eighth of an inch deep. So you can see it drove the nails out of the wood far enough that we can now grab it with our hammer or pry bar. It did not drive them all the way through the piece of pallet. So those of you who've been following the channel for a while know that I've been processing a bunch of pallet wood that I was able to get free. And I've gotten through a whole bunch really quick uh, in the last week or so using the pneumatic nail remover. And uh, these are pieces of oak and cherry and it drove those nails out without any problem whatsoever. So my overall impressions of the tool is it really does what it's supposed to do. It seems to be uh, plenty durable so far at least. And I've been using it for about a week or maybe 10 days. The price seems pretty good at $43.99. However, I just noticed today that they've uh, marked down the price of the air locker on Amazon to $45.99. When I bought this a couple weeks ago, the air locker, which is really this tool's competitor, was more around $52. I think the difference in this tool and the air locker is only that the air locker has the ability to replace the, uh, the piston mechanism inside here that actually drives the nail out. In the event that it breaks with the air locker, then you could replace that part of the tool. I'm not sure if you can replace it using this tool that I purchased, the 3 Plus tool. Believe it or not, you can pay up to hundreds of dollars for a similar tool on Amazon that does the exact same job. I think the difference is in the more expensive tools is you may have a different option for the size of the actual rod that shoots out and hits the nail therefore leaving maybe a smaller hole in the, in the material that you're, that you're knocking the nails out of. But for the purpose of what I'm doing, and that is processing pallet wood and turning that into usable lumber for building projects, I think this tool will be just fine for what I need. Now seeing that the air locker is actually nearly similar in price, I would probably purchase that one now looking back because that way I knew, know that I could replace that, that rod that actually hits the nail in the, need to, in, in the event I need to. If you guys are interested in this tool or the air locker, which is this tool's competitor, especially now that they're about the same price, I'll put uh, links in the description to those tools. So I hope this video was useful for you and you learned something about the tool that I'm using. Be sure to leave a comment let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when I make new videos. If you're wondering how the pallet wood project's going, I've almost completed getting all the panels put together. And then we'll be starting that uh, plane till soon. As always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.